Beverly people, welcome back to the farm at Free Warden. Before we jump into the video here, I just wanted to say a big thank you to First the 508th Airborne on YouTube for shouting our channel out. Uh, we really appreciate that and all of the subscribers that uh, have come over. We really appreciate you for checking us out and giving us a chance. We hope that we earn your subscription and produce some content that you're interested in and that is uh, beneficial, educational, and uh, entertaining. And uh, we appreciate you coming in to check out Ragnar and the life that he's leading. That's part of a bigger ecosystem here. It's something that we've been working on for a long time. We've got plans for this little guy here and uh, he seems to be fitting in really well with what we're doing and enjoying life here with us and we're really enjoying him. So we're excited to share this with you, share what uh, else we're doing here as well, but Ragnar, he'll just play uh, another part here on the farm. What a handsome boy. What a handsome boy, yes. You're a good looking puppy, aren't you? He likes to cob a lot. He's always cobbing my hand or my arm or something. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a little update on Ragnar today. He is 11 weeks and one day old. He weighs over 20 pounds now. I don't know quite where he's at with that, but we're gonna find out here real quick. I just got one of our chicken tractors behind us here, so we'll peek in on them since we're standing nearby. We gave the dogs some watermelon earlier today and uh, they were not huge fans of it, so what they left behind we gave to the chickens and it looks like they've been enjoying it. So these are our big red broilers. We hatched them out ourselves in our own incubator here on the farm. They came from eggs laid by big red broilers, fertilized by a big red broiler rooster. Okay, so these guys are closer to five weeks. They're right around five weeks old. They have another seven weeks to go before they're butcher ready. And they uh, have a great life here, raised out on grass. So pasture raised. They've eaten all the grass in here, so we should get them moved. We also supplement them with food as well. Primarily, they get to eat feed, but the grass is really good for them. Provides a lot of nutrients and stuff. Oh, that's a good boy. Yes. So he's very healthy. You got the thumb. So what we've been doing to train him to not bite so hard is when he does bite hard, now he's not biting too hard now, but every once in a while he does bite a little harder. We don't uh, discipline him. We don't, you know, smack him or hit him. That's really bad training. So I'm not speaking for all breeds, but just as far as breeds that we're aware of, what we did with Bella, and she's part German Shepherd. What we did with Bella is anytime she'd bite too hard, we'd just go, ow! And he heard that and he didn't like that. And he's like, what's going on? Did I hurt you? Ow! Yeah, See, just like that. Now he stopped, see that? Now at first when we did that, he didn't stop, he didn't get it. But now that we've been working with him, he'll stop biting so hard. And kind of tame up. So don't, don't hit your dogs when they bite you too hard. Especially puppies, they don't know. They're just doing what a puppy's supposed to do. Puppies are supposed to chew on things. So what we've been doing with him is just working on, you know, he's, I'm not gonna do it when he doesn't bite too hard because we want it to be, ow, ow. Yep, see, there we go, he stopped. And it's what they do when they bite each other too hard, you know, they'll, they'll yelp. They'll let him know, hey, you're biting me too hard. Knock it off or not, we're not gonna play. Oh, good boy, oh, good boy. Oh, good boy, such a good boy. And lots of praise. Praise them often, say good boy, good girl, whatever, you know, your dog is, but tell them, praise them and tell them they're a good doggy. Good doggy, yes. And give them lots of love and praise and compliments when they do any, any little thing right. You know, you call them and they start coming in your direction, even if they're not coming straight toward you, praise them. Maybe that'll turn them toward you to come and want more praise. He's watching the chickens in here.
Are you watching those chickens? Are you guarding the chickens? Good boy. Good boy. So he's not trying to rile him up right now. He's try not trying to chase him or anything like that. So I'm going to tell him, good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. I want him to pay attention to the animals. I want him to pay attention to the livestock. He's not going to necessarily, he's not the right breed to be a livestock guardian dog. Um, but I want him to be aware of what, what belongs to us and now to him on the farm. You know, these are his animals too now. They feed us and they'll feed him. And I want him to be aware of what's going on around the farm and, and get used to the animals that we have here. So as I already mentioned, Ragnar is a little over 20 pounds. We don't know exactly how much he weighs because <clears throat> our scale broke. I'm gonna show you guys another way to weigh an animal to get a rough estimate of how much it weighs. I've been surprised though at how exact it can actually be. This works for pigs and it works for Ragnar. Did last time a few ounces off or something, but it's gonna be pretty accurate if last time was any indication. So what you're gonna do is you're going to measure from just between the ears on an animal down to the base of their tail. You want their, their neck to be relaxed. You don't want it to be contracted or extended. See if he cooperates here. So 20, about 22 inches. All right, so we take the measurement of the length and then we take the measurement of their chest or thorax here. So you wanna get right around the widest part of their chest, around their back, just behind their shoulders. So we are at, let's say 20 inches. He's kind of wiggling around there, but. So we had 20 by 22. All right, so what you wanna do is take your length measurement, multiply it by the length again. 22 by 22 equals 484, and then you're going to multiply that number by the chest measurement, which was 20. That's gonna equal 9,680, and we're gonna divide that number by 400, and that's going to bring us to 24.2, and that's gonna be how much he weighs. So this has been very helpful when measuring to weigh any animal, uh, an animal that's uh, out in the pasture or that's way too large. And we don't have a livestock scale, so this is basically what we've had to do is measure animals to get their weight. And so far I've found that it's always, it's always been right on. We've measured sheep, we've measured uh, the pigs, and it always works out great. We did notice recently that he did really bulk up and put on a lot of weight. Got a bone from his duck. I'm assuming that's from his duck. Mm-hmm. Oh no, you dropped it. You dropped it. Oh yes, kisses. Gosh. So this formula goes length times length times the circumference of the chest. And then take that number and divide it by 400. And you're going to have a very accurate uh, weight of what that animal would be. <laughs> Duncan's letting Ragnar know not to encroach on what is hers. He's a cylindrical. But well, look at, like, she stands up. She's got this skinny little waist. So yeah, he's still testing the boundaries with Pumpkin here. Oh, such great fun. <laughs> oh, yep, you got got, didn't you, buddy? You got got. That's what happens. I'm sorry, but you gotta learn to Respect the elder. Punk has done a great job training Bella in manners and pack etiquette. And uh, we just gotta let it play out with Bella and Ragnar. Okay. With supervision, of course, we're not gonna let either of them really hurt each other, but they're not gonna do that. Punkin's gonna tell him off. She's gonna bark at him, growl at him, snap at him, let him know, hey, I don't like this, you better knock it off. And when he doesn't knock it off, 
when he doesn't knock it off, she's gonna go after him and try to nip at him, bite him. And she's done it a few times. And uh, she's just letting him know, hey, this is not okay. They're not hurting each other. They're not, you know, breaking skin or anything like that, but they, they will bite hard enough to make them yelp. This is really good training for the dogs to get socialized, learn how to act around other dogs, what's okay, what's not okay, what's permitted, what's play, what's too much play. All right, it is time for some brats, some beer brats on the grill. Mrs. Free Warden's mother came over and helped us clean up the yard and the patio, so we now have a nice patio to sit on. We've got the tables all set up. We've even got flowers from the flower garden. I don't know why this thing is there, but we've got beautiful flowers from Mrs. Free Warden's flower garden. But we've got our table set up so we can sit out here and enjoy the beautiful, cool night. Did you smell food? Are you hungry? Oh, you little stinker. You figured out how to open the door, huh? Well, unfortunately, it looks like my battery's about to die, so I've got to sign off here before that happens. Otherwise, this whole clip will get corrupted. Until next time, stay safe, hug somebody, God bless you. Everything's gonna be okay. Peace.